took a very hard look at a 2019 Outlander XTP 1000. Outstanding machine and I'm really drawn to the machine because of the engine. Although the Can-Am engine and clutch are outstanding, I really don't feel comfortable with the stability of the Can-Am for how and where we ride. Also the Visco lock clutch where the loose tire has to spin three times to engage the opposite tire just isn't conducive to the way we ride. This is a steep, slippery, shale, muddy hill at Majestic Laws Trails and believe me at my size on a big bore machine you don't want to wait for a front tire to spin three times before you have four wheel drive. You'll end up on your back or sliding down the hill backwards and I don't want to experience that. So as my dealer tells me, I'm a Polaris guy, even though I want to buy a Can-Am, my roots always go back to a Polaris. And I had one Sportsman 1000 XP that never let me down, and I had to buy a new and improved version. So I purchased a Polaris Sportsman XP 1000 Premium Edition, and so far the upgrades on it have proved to be outstanding. Biggest upgrades for me are the is a clutch. They had to revamp this clutch. It's tighter and gauges harder, gauges at a lower RPM, comes in firmer. And also I believe after climbing some hills on it and a couple rides, I believe they've changed the gearing of the machine where it's uh, more, where it's geared more for hill climbing and less for top speeds. Where I ride, I really don't need to take my ATV 85 miles an hour. We rarely go above 45 miles an hour. We spend most of our time between 15 and 22 miles an hour. And I'm really happy with the upgrades on this, this machine. It's uh, geared to run the woods and climb the hills. And it's extremely impressive. Thank you for Polaris for making a great machine even better. I asked the dealer if my old 1000 belt would fit this machine and they said no. This machine takes the high lifter, the mud version of this machine's belt. So that's got to be a much heavier belt than the previous belt and that lends me to believe that they improve the clutch components and put a beefier clutch on this. There's no doubt in my mind that they've changed the gearing on the machine. Um, you can see that that's a dark blue metallic paint. But really the story um, is also in the Duro Power Grip tires. They're 27 inches and I think they're a better tire than the Maxxis. On my previous 1000 XP I had to cut the plastic body panels away from the electric lines around the steering column because it had actually cracked a diode. Uh, when I turned, the wires used to rub against the body panels and they cracked a diode and it would actually cut the ignition on the machine and the motor would stall. I'm glad Polaris corrected this and pre-cut or remolded the body panels around the steering column so this wouldn't happen again. So although they've made many improvements on the Can-Am Outlander, including making it wider and adding a torsion bar, to stabilize it. Um, it still doesn't have the ground clearance, 12 inches of ground clearance that the Polaris has. And I'm also, let's take a closer look at these wide tires in the back. They perform extremely well and I'm very pleased with the new tread pattern.